Welcome back to the channel, bros and hoes. It's good to see you. I want to get this video out for, uh, well, I don't want this to happen. But this is what the next most probable outcome is going to be. They don't have a plan in Ottawa for the trucker convoy. This is obvious. Like, they, they don't have a plan. They kind of saw it coming. They kind of created it. There's kind of like a World Economic Forum agenda here because the mayor of Ottawa is one of their students. So is Trudeau. So is a bunch of them. Anyway, the Canadian people are waking up to the fact that they've been sold out to the World Economic Forum. And, uh, and, and I don't think that they have an actual plan on how do you get the truckers out of your city. Like, so the next probable event is false flag event. We saw this on January 6th. We saw this in September of 2001. You see these events throughout when there are major problems. Some of you guys may be like, whoa, it was one, 2001. Look at the Dixie in August of 2001, uh, coming off the dot-com bubble. We, we needed a little excuse to go warring around the, uh, we, we were free agents at that time. We didn't have anywhere to go. It wasn't like today where like we had Ukraine. Like, oh yeah, we can just go to the Ukraine do arms deals there. We needed somewhere to go. Uh, but nonetheless, this is, uh, this is pretty typical of empires, Canada being a small one, smaller one. But a false flag event is the next thing that's pr probably going to happen. And it's important that we, as, a, as the public, get ahead of this. Because the truckers have been nothing but outstanding stand-up people cleaning the cities, feeding the homeless, crime is at an all-time low. I mean, it, you know, all of this stuff. But the next probable thing will be these gas cans and some sort of fire and in which young people will be injured or killed, unfortunately. And it's important that we get ahead of the event because when something like that happens, and I would give the probability like, uh, probably like almost a certainty. When something like that happens, it's very, very important that we, the people, point the, the, the blame at the political elites, the people who cause these problems. Anything that happens in Ottawa from this point, or even now, <laughs> like, like at any point, uh, has been because of the political elites, because of what they have decreed, because they are the all-knowing entities, uh, and they know better, <laughs> and, and, uh, and no government. There's, there's no moral justification for government. There is no moral justification for forced theft. There's moral, no moral justification for counterfeiting, or quantitative easing as we like to call it here in the United States. Uh, there is no moral justification that one man should rule over another man. It's just not how it should be. It's just how the world was when we got here and we keep voting in this system and keep complying with this BS system. And the, uh, the system has been essentially dominated for a while now of a very, very small group of very, very elite individuals, most of all of which can be found at the, at the World Economic Forum. Uh, they've got a big agenda. It's called Agenda 30. You should read it. It's pretty interesting. It's basically a war on carbon. Even though we're walking into a decade of solar cooling, uh, really interesting, we should ex actually expect to see lower temperatures here over the next decade. Um, than in the last century, actually. Um, and so, nonetheless, false flag event is gonna be the next thing that will probably likely happen. And when that happens, I really, really, really hope that the people's vibrational energy has risen enough to where they can see it, they can call it out, and they can say, nah, 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 nah. It's like down here, it's like we, you know, never forget, never forget, but Tower 7, don't ask any questions. You know, it, don't allow these type of, uh, people to just keep doing this to your society over and over they constantly create these problems they literally create these problems same thing with the bat flu thing they create this stuff and then they have the solutions but it's also just so damn convenient when the federal reserve ran out of money well that's not quite true but when the federal reserve went to an overnight funds rate of 10 percent which is insane when the repo market, the repurchase market, dried up in September of 2019. And then, oh, magically, a black swan event. We didn't see that coming. Turn on the money printers. Oh, there's inflation? It's transitory. Well, okay, maybe it's not transitory. Are you gonna raise the interest rates? No. 
Okay, so you're just gonna inflate the currency away and buy assets? Maybe. It's like, well, we allow this in our society. As long as we use their system, as long as we use their system, we support their system. This is why I encourage everybody, get out of their system best you can. There's no need to stay in it. There's really not. Besides the, the, the paying your bills and using some of their fiat currency while it dies, because it's not gonna last that much longer, get, start getting out of their system. And the most peaceful way to do it and we saw this through the GoFundMe campaign thing, which now is aiding and abetting the T word because they've been uh, deemed T's. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and stop using their system. Like, is it a surprise to you that you use the fiat currency system on a website called GoFundMe <laughs> and, and the funds got stopped? Like, is that a surprise? You know, so, so anyway, I think that the uh, populace here, the plebs are gonna wake up to things like private cryptocurrency, the metals, silver, gold, Copper, all the things that we that worked for thousands of years very well. I'm actually a broker for metals. I just believe in it. And so I spend my mornings now helping people obtain that. So if you want uh, information on that or you're, you're looking to, to purchase anything like that, if it's a small amount, local coin stores are awesome. If it's gonna be larger than two or 3,000 bucks, use a broker because it's gonna be a lot cheaper to go that way. Um, but get this stuff. I don't care how you get it, just get this stuff because it's super, super important that people get out of their system and that you share this content and information with people because this is, this is what we want. We want people to get out of their system. We want to retake our culture and our society. And we don't want to have a small, very fringe minority literally running our lives. It's time to kick them out. So anyway, guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for your likes, thank you for your comments. And thank you for sharing this with a friend. And until next video, I'll see you down in the comments.